Hey everybody, this is Matt with Bongo Bytes, and I'm here with Mike in Boston who's asked me to help him with an overview of Lightroom 3. Mike's new to photography, new to Lightroom, and has a nice camera, wants to take his images to another level, but hasn't had the time to sit down and really figure out what Lightroom's all about. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of what the interface does and what you can achieve with Lightroom, and then we'll go into some other tutorial videos. Uh, that explain the finer intricacies of Lightroom 3. So basically I've just opened up Lightroom I've got an image uh, in the middle here and I usually start from the left working my way down and then up to the top right and then down to the bottom right corner. So you can see here you just have a preview of your image this is showing your catalog of images, how many you've imported into Lightroom your previous import that's always handy if you want to uh, go back and see what you just put in, choose another photo. And then it's showing the different folders here that you have on your um, hard drive. This is my external hard drive. And then you have some publishing services here um, that you'll use later after you've edited your images. You've got your import and export keys here and your import is where you're going to start bringing in your images. I'm not going to get into that right now but I'm just going to show you that down there is where you start to bring in your images into your Lightroom 3 catalog. So I'm going to cancel that and then exporting is if you want to take photos out so you can put them into other photos on your folders on your computer or use them on websites, uh, Facebook, etc. Right here while I'm here you've got your tile, your uh, grid view your single photo view, your side by side, and your tiled view here, your survey view. And you just kind of scroll back and forth through those. In the library mode, I prefer to use this one so I can see all the images that I have to choose from. So now that I've kind of worked my way down the bottom left, I just hop right up over here to the top right and Typically, I'll go right into developing from here. You do have some quick controls here um, where you can make some minor adjustments to an image if you want to do something real quick. Uh, you can add keyword tags that are going to be tagged in for your file to uh, get Google search resu results, uh, keyword suggestions, keyword set. So a few things here. You can see I've got my copyright in here, my name, so that all stays with the image if someone was to uh, try and uh, use your image somewhere else uh, it is copyrighted so that's that's metadata you can get all set up and that'll stick with every time you import your images so the next step I would go into is the develop mode and this is where you're gonna make your adjustments and this is where uh, you'll do most of your work within Lightroom so again just starting from the upper whoops sorry about that starting from the upper left corner uh, I'm working my way down this side and then I'll come up to the right hand side uh, but immediately you see you have a variety of Lightroom presets just hit that and you can scroll through and you'll see the image changing at the top kinda of showing what the effect will be if you see one that you like this one looked interesting I'll just click on it and if I don't like it then I'll just move on to another one now a real benefit of Lightroom also is that you can have your own user presets. I haven't created any in here but as I edit images um, I can add my own presets in there so if I'm doing a wedding for example and I want it all to have the same feel um, you can do that. Another benefit is that there's lots of presets for sale out on the market. Um, one in particular Marcus Bell presets. He's a Australian photographer who's won many awards and he sells all his presets so you can start to get the look of some of the pros as well so just a little insight there um, once I've selected my preset I'm kinda over here to the right hand panel again so I start in here this is my cropping tool and real simple just hit your cropping tool drag it in drag it out over here if you need to shift your horizons or something like that nice and easy um, and then just hit it again and it'll apply that crop um, here's some of your basic uh, adjustments you got your exposure your recovery fill light blacks brightness contrast 
clarity, vibrance, and saturation. And those are kind of the standard adjustments that you can make. And here's another quick tip as far as white balance goes. You can change your white balances here as well. So we'll get into that in another tutorial, but just a little uh, side note there. So then you just keep working your way down the right-hand panel. You've got a tone curve here. You've got your black and white mix, your color, and your HSL, your split toning, your detail. You can sharpen your images here. You can reduce the noise in your image, which is the grain in the image. Typically, a photo taken with a high ISO is going to have much more noise or grain in it than a low ISO. So you can adjust the noise reduction here. Uh, your lens corrections. And then you've got uh, your vignetting that you can apply real quickly. All the different settings for that. And then again, as I get down here, I'm done with the image. And you can see that all the adjustments are already made here in my Lightroom panel. And if I wanted to export that, I just right click it and I'll export that out to my desktop or the folder that I select. So that's a quick overview of the interface of Lightroom. Hope that helps you out, gets you a jump start on your photo editing. And uh, feel free to visit bongobytes.com for more training, tutorials, and hot deals on photographic products. Thanks a lot for your time. Have a good one.